Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have a HP Omen gaming laptop. In this video here, I'll be doing a screen replacement on this model here. So let me turn it around and show you the model number. Hopefully you can read the fine print. Uh, it's really vague. I, I don't think you can really see it. But here is the HP Omen 15 DC 2010NR and this is the um, uh, the HP gaming laptop here so I'll be doing a screen replacement and I'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that and uh, let me turn it around here and show you how it looks like and this is the the front of it alright so hopefully you have the same model as I do and um, and let's get started Alright, so at this point here, the way I look at it, it doesn't have any screws on the bezel. So you don't need to have a um, screwdriver to remove the bezel. It looks like it's double sided tape all around the screen. So what you need to have is to have a, a metal prying tool or a plastic prying tool. Whichever that you have, uh, some kind of prying tool that you need to pry open the bezel. So what I usually like to do is I like to start on the corner. Let me stick it in between. Alright, so it has some double sided tape taping onto the bezel. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting the adhesive tape at the same time I'm using my left hand to lift the bezel up. So as you can see, you know, some of this tape is white color you see that the double sided tape here so uh, it's quite sticky so this prying tool is actually cutting at the same time I'm trying to pry open it um, when you get to this point right here just be careful with the webcam try not to stick all the way in or cut any of this uh, or damage any of the camera alright so let me turn it around here a little bit So I'm getting to the bottom part right here. All right, so the bottom part is a lot stickier. Okay, so you actually really need to cut it through. And what I am seeing right now, let's see if I can show it to you. Okay, what I'm seeing here is, you see this little black, black cover here is actually part of the LCD let me let me try to open it up a little bit bigger for you to see it okay so right here is I'm not sure if you can see it on camera yeah so this one here is part of the uh, the LCD the plastic the black plastic what I'm trying to do is I'm cutting the bezel and the plastic in between here so I'm not cutting the, the black cover here I'm cutting uh, the adhesive in between the bezel just take your time not to stick all the way in to cut it work your way around it slowly all right so that's how you cut it open and I'll explain to you again what I was saying about the um, the back the black the black tape right here so this is the black tape I was talking about the black plastic here it's, it is part of the LCDs all together here so when you try to cut it in between uh, you're not cutting whatever internally uh, to the LCD you're just cutting the adhesive tape on this part right here which this part right here which is the one that is taping taping onto this plastic right here okay so I'm just cutting on the top right here the double sided tape all right at this point what I can see is it looks like the LCD screen is not screw on to I don't see any screw that is holding the LCD this two screw right here is actually uh, for for the hinge to open and close the top plastic cover so this one right here this two screw is actually not for the LCD what I can see is that the LCD has this um, 
double-sided glue that is glued on to the LCD okay so if you can see here right here is a real really sticky and gooey uh, LCD uh, sorry uh, a tape okay so this tape here is holding on to the LCD you need to remove the tape to able to remove the LCD okay so let's go ahead and pull the pull the um, pull this tape out what I'm doing is I'm pulling the tape downwards alright so as you can see this is a really gooey double-sided tape and this tape is to hold on to the LCD in the back here okay so let's put it on the side so there are actually two of them one on the right and the second one is on the left here so let me go ahead and remove this as well so what you want to do is you want to take your time when you pull the tape just try to pull it um, as close as you can as slowly as you can and not to break it okay because once you break this double-sided tape your screen is not going to come out because it's still glue onto it. Alright, so I have that thing removed. So both of them are here. Let me put that on the side. Now your screen should just come right out without any problem okay here at this point what you want to do is you want to disconnect this cable this is a 30 pin connector so this right here it has a little clipper the clipper clips onto the connector so I need to flip the clipper up alright so here's the little clipper flip it up and then slide the cable away from you so I'm sliding away from my body so it's going that direction and that's how I remove the cable so at this point your LCD would just come right out without any problem and you can get a new screen and do a replacement for this and let me go ahead and tell you where you can look for the model here I believe that this LCD is considered the LM156 LFBL this is the model here and it's made by Panda or you can look it up CHZGK01Q2EIZFA. Or you can look it up for this HP uh, replaced with HP Spare. So this is the HP Spare number L670 63 001. Alright, I hope that this video helps you on how to replace your LCD screen on this HP Omen gaming laptop. Uh, what I'll do is I will have the um, the tools in the description below right so you probably need to have this prying tool um, some kind of uh, plastic prying tool here or maybe a Phillips screwdriver here uh, so some of the tools that you need to help you to get this screen uh, to do the screen replacement the very important thing that you need because you need to install the new screen after right so assuming that this is the new screen that you got right so assuming this is the new screen that you got and first thing you need to do is you need to um, go ahead and connect the cable back together so it's very simple make sure the clipper is open right it's facing up and then you want to slide the cable back in so slide it to your body slide towards yourself slide it in once you slide it all the way in, go ahead and push the clipper back down to clip it close. Once the clipper is closed, go ahead and make sure that the tape is securely fastened right here. Now once you have that thing installed, you can see that this is double sided adhesive tape that I got. You need to be able to tape it, your screen back onto the base on, on, on your laptop. Alright, so you need to make sure that you want to tape it back on. Uh, if not the screen would fall off so what I'll do is I will cut the 
double sided tape right here right about this length and then what I'll do is I'll tape it on to the base right here okay so I'll do the same for the other side And what I'll do is I will remove this because it's double sided tape so remove this cover and you want to lift the screen up okay make sure you have it aligned in the right position and then press it down gently so this double sided tape would glue the LCD back on together for you. And as you see what I did was I leave enough room to expose this little uh, plastic right here, the tape that we just did here. Okay, so I leave enough room for future if you do crack a screen again, you know where the, the tape is and you're going to pull this down yourself later on. Alright, so I have it on that side and the second one I have it on this side right here. Okay, so um, this is how you're going to do the screen replacement. I hope that the video helps. Uh, if you have any question, please comment below. And uh, I really appreciate if you click the uh, subscribe button and like the channel as well. And that really helps me to, uh, to grow, uh, to make more of this type of video. So good luck with your screen repair. And, uh, if, and I, until next time, I'll see you again. Take care.